All right, all right. Hello, everyone, and now welcome to a 4v4. Yes, I said a 4v4. Apparently, my replay picker wanted to watch me stumble, try and track, <coughs> excuse me, multiple armies with, well, some really, really fun 4v4 games. Team 1 is going to be China. Team A with Yumiko, Infi, Fly, and Tho versus, I believe, they're going up against the European team, Franz, Puppet Talks, and Shocky over here on the bottom side of the map. So yellow versus red. Let's take a look at the races. Um, orc, human, night elf, and undead. So orc, human, night elf, and undead going up against orc, human, night elf, and well, orc. All right, so only difference is that the red team, China's team here does not have an undead player. Wait, really? And it's a replay too, and you're not playing? I, I'm not playing. This is so, I'm, I was trying to set things up, and for those of you guys who were watching on a Twitch, um, I had to download all of the 4v4 maps, and I'm probably going to tell you right now that I would absolutely fall apart in a game of this caliber. Um, <clears throat> just seeing the names that you're going up against, specifically the China team names, Yumiko, um, Yumiko, Infi, Fly, yeah, those, those yeah, so just absolutely absolutely just would be scared by their names let's go ahead and break things down here normally um i don't need those first two minutes to introduce all of the players and the strategies uh, but this time it definitely is the case you are sharing your base essentially with um well you're sharing your base with your team so you are directly next to your partner the downside here is that lumber could actually become a bit of a problem especially for these kind of back teams here no they have plenty of trees to try and hit into this forest off on the side you need to go caster go cast for that even back to work i still have trouble with that yeah no full caster mode uh, 4v4 is going to be absolutely crazy i believe um todd is actually the one actually trying to cast these 4v4s um probably helps if english is your native language to, to try and cast or casting in your native language and talking very quickly both sides just doing a little bit of creeping off to the side you're just going to refer to them by colors by now as the yellow team doing an interesting ancient of war off to the north here may use that to do a little bit more of creeping off to the north as well meanwhile we are looking at an expansion clearance here at what i'll call the three o'clock location there could be also an, another expansion clearance here yes by um, the yellow team over here on the south side so both sides can easily get up to six bases if they try to be aggressive enough um, the question is are they going to move over a race that is actually able to set it up very quickly this ancient of war down to 50 hit points taking quite a bit of damage and uh, oh gets taken down by the blade master so the blade master able to steal a bit of experience right there and set back his opponent keeper of the grove now set back there there is a deny once more but this time it was by the force troll berserker all right so blade master wanted to finish off the ancient of war gets killed by the ice troll and the force troll berserkers blade master could have easily have been level two at this point gets in a wind walk strike for that extra bit of battle damage meanwhile off on the north side here farseer archmage um doing their thing clearing out the north side as well as a great hall is established to build uh, to start mining from this gold mine as well all right blade master of fly red team gonna go ahead and try and put on pressure keeper the grove is very much nearby ready to well strike down that blade master if he tries to reveal he's trying to repair or get some more mana since he used up a, a large portion of it and the keeper of the grove is actually staying very very close here as more archers are being trained as well all right there you go the blade master quickly thinking wait a second maybe i can actually um take this down not really realizing that there were actually a number of archers in the play already dust dust of appearance on that blade master making retreat nigh impossible or well, sticking around, nigh impossible. Retreat obviously did it as he did do it. Coming back down to the south side here, Blade Master trying to put pressure um, on this expansion location here. A tree of life being built purposely far away, out of sight range of the yellow Blade Master. That tree of life should be able to be constructed and then mo moved on over momentarily. Meanwhile, Undead looking to clear out some creep camps as well. Now, the big question is here is, well individual success doesn't always necessarily translate to team success team success and, and well, how you function as a team versus how you are as an individual player does make a drastic difference we recognize the names of the of, of both sides and recognize many of the names on the both sides and 
it wouldn't be a stretch to say that the, the chi China's team actually has much more recognizable names. But how much practice has this um, European team gotten in together as we're looking at the armies now engaging out across the battle for, uh, battlefield? Infi does have a level 3 Farseer already, pretty high damage. Meanwhile, the Death Knight's trying to chase after some of those other footmen and other units. Death Knight gets a Death Coil off to save a low hit point Crypt Fiend as the Farseer is still in position here. Yeah, I, might, I think I, I need to back um, or uh, look, scroll out just a little bit more as the battle scenes are going to get crazier and crazier. All right, the Death Knight now trying to well, keep many of those units alive. Two very low hit point Crypt Fiends, those dire wolves with those critical strikes to easily take one down. There's one chain lightning, one, one Crypt Fiend acting as a lightning rod to chain to the other as Infi takes down two of, well, come on, two of Shocker's Crypt Fiends. There it goes. Finally down there, Farseer halfway to level four. Keeper of the Grove of Tho trying to use some treants to stop this expansion attempt, but well, gonna punish it a little bit at most, but not yet very far. Back off to the north, we do see Fountains of Health with relatively easy close accessibility for both sides. You can see there's a Fountain of Health here as well, which means that healing, if you're able to bring your units back home, should never be a problem. Staffs of preservations should perhaps be distributed across the board and, and then have them rally back over to that fountain of health to minimize the experience given while while, while capitalizing on, on you know, while just capitalizing on overall effective hit points. All right, coming back through corners of the map, we are looking at one ice rep. Wait, that doesn't look right. There's got to be some shadow characters there as well murloc plague bearer ice revenant are there shadow characters there yep a whole bunch of murloc night crawlers with plenty of poison to go around meanwhile coming back around here dark ranger as a hero coming in from tho tho trying to build up an army of skeletal minions getting in those getting in that damage there but will need a death coil oh well actually no will not be able to get a death coil as the north side has no undead heroes curious choice on that dark ranger perhaps for silence to try and shut down what may be very very large intensive hero battles farseer quickly teleporting back off to the north here gonna get some healing salve love from that torrent chieftain and perhaps try and well exchange some items as well torrent chieftain and um, picking up the gauntlets of ogre strength plus three and also that ring of protection early on giving him significantly more effective hit points all right, top right corner of the map. Many, many creep camps ready to clear. You can see the bandit lord here, the duel, oh, no, the war golems. War golems actually hired up from the mercenary camp. So these war golems, very, very strong tanks. And the perfect thing that you want for, um, as the archers will generally want to try and hide behind all of this here. Bandit lord quickly engaging with that divine shield, quickly um, unvulnerable, unable to take any damage there as we're looking at, well, some necromancer action the heretic calling in some skeletal minions archer is doing a little bit of a pelting damage as well that bandit lord about to get taken down one more shot there finally taken down as the keeper of the grove picks up claws of attack plus 15. all right back down to the south side here we're looking at more well harassment and engagement all right i guess watching a 4v4 map is just a, um, a big sign of hey you need to keep track of the mini map or you are going to miss something and even if you keep track of the mini map you are going to miss something as the heretics well continuing with those carry on swarms clear, clear, creep camps cleared up panda nearly at level three keeper of the grove nearly at level four the war golems do need to be healed up a little bit they are actually considered or not mechanical units actually um, actually biological units as they're going to be making their way down can get easily healed up at these fountains of health that I mentioned earlier. Archmage, footmen, water elementals hanging around that fountain of health trying to heal up and being ready to go once more with all the action. Meanwhile, red army now making its way over there, not realizing that the yellow army has already made a beeline move and actually cleared everything out and once more archmage not trying to push down across here but there's going to be simply too many towers to try and make any sort of real effective play here especially with footmen and the archmage coming in to reinforce maybe a peasant or two will get taken down but the cost and um, the cost of losing all of the footmen and perhaps it's giving some of that experience is going to be a bit too much all right army off to the north here Infi clearing out of this corner creep camp. Not a very difficult um, orange creep camp, but still wanting a bit more experience. Meanwhile, Blade Master coming back across here spots that there is a watchtower not going to be able to stick around. Now, Archer is getting taken down. Um, 
as well night elf wanting to stay out of high upkeep or low upkeep and perhaps giving additional gold to those partners war golems other units should be heading over to that fountain of health regenerating some hit points one ancient of war well i'm going to be taking quite a bit of damage liquid fire as well preventing any any sort of <clears throat> repairs on that building yellow team continuing to clear up some more creep camps archmaid sitting at level four level two brilliance aura on the table should be extremely helpful in these fights archmage sitting next to that fountain of health replenishing the hit points and mana of everything nearby meanwhile shocker bringing in obsidian statues and, and as well because well you're undead and what is an undead team without their obsidian statues to make their well give their heroes plenty of mana pretty much non-stop scroll of town portal doesn't want to get caught out in the open their npc sees it with the sentry ward and quickly backs away meanwhile bottom left hand side of the map map we're looking at well the yellow human going after this ice revenant creep camp is it also going to go after some of these other creep camps here this is on the bottom left a fountain of mana available um as well as the mountain king gets up to level two a tiny great hall actually picked up by the mountain king gonna set up a tiny a town hall and with that if you didn't know you can do that in team games it builds your respective building as the archmage now gonna deal with the keeper of the grove a priestess of the moon and a dark ranger a lot of poison here and the disease cloud could mean a lot of dead footmen getting killed by all of these murlocs dryad not joining in on the battle mountain king trying to run around in circles he's gonna have very bad day as he needs to get some reinforcement he wants to stick around in this fight as the footmen are continuing to fight back around blade master showing up to the party there's a thunderclap critical windlock strike onto the mountain king mountain king now down to 75 hit points trying to back away he gets taken down right there with a windlock strike in the back all right this expansion out by yellow looking to already suffer some early early distress but this is opening things up for a pathway to the top to try and take down this expansion here all right trading of bases is in order meanwhile rt god yellow human well having multiple towers here thought that this base was completely safe that is no longer the case as the army of infi is able to well put in a pressure down trading of expansions in order as the orc burrows are easily going to get cleaned up here as well war Go golem has a thorns aura all right so keeper the group out opting to go for thorns or a level one to reflect a little bit of damage back just in case there is some sign of melee damage here this town hall is being able to start mining though interestingly enough as this town hall is going to get taken down all right rt god going to be staying at well staying at um at two bases there are new expansions coming in from shocker and well the night elf also holding onto this expansion as well with that fortified armor from the ancient protectors and those watchtowers with the reinforced defenses all right a lot of units just pretty much all over the place a quick retreat and being able to head back home here as a large army night elf undead off to the north could easily put in pressure blade master is amongst all of those units um, a shade or a reveal here would pretty much spell certain doom for that army as the panda wants to get a breath of fire off and trying to finish things off here mean what is going to end up happening in comes the rest of the army here are we going to see an engagement that is the question tree ends are getting taken down meanwhile we're looking at army coming in from the south side perhaps trying to clean things up mountain giants taking a little bit of damage but no real creep jack here as liquid fire causing problems on the town hall it will not be able and well, repairs are not going to be working out at all as we are looking at troll bat riders making their way over to try and suicide against other troll bat riders all right that siege damage 17 to 21 fairy dragons keeper of the grove dark ranger now making another play move over scout towers are not going to be in position as i either as well this expansion looks like it will be falling meanwhile army back off to the north that is going to be a scroll of town portal where are they teleporting to they are teleporting back home in, instead of trying to save this expansion here forcing a scroll of town portal back out as the peasants are trying to repair a little bit of coordination could have saved that expansion there or at least force a throw to be able to, to use a scroll of town portal and exit back out as well as well inbound in scrolls of town Port or one scroll of town portal now inbound trying to say there's the undead army here showing up to the party keeper of the grove quickly using the scroll of town portal in order to retreat away but too little too late the expansion is down and well that is all gone there new expansion being placed down by the orc 
mining away once more you can see rt god trying to set up this expansion now at the seven o'clock location as undead going to attempt to clear out this um, fountain of mana creep camp all right ogre lord gonna suffer quite a bit of damage here um well you can take a look the destroyer is doing a bit of that splash damage as well gonna go after the remaining units quickly and easily taking down those units here all right what item was dropped it is going to be a ring of protection plus five death knight now up to nine armor very very strong damage reduction to stay alive archmage is at five mountain king at three a paladin is at two decent decent strength knights with one one upgrades uh, sundering blades obviously as that is no longer an up that is just a permanent upgrade and also trying to get animal war training the X one tower is still holding off over here as we're looking at the undead clearing out the remainders of this creep camp perhaps trying to get to level five on this death knight nine experience shy red army coming in from the north that's going to be very tough as we're looking at the archmage um, mountain king and paladin now trying to make a move over they, they are behind enemy lines and they're going to be forced to use a get out of well get out of town card and head back home rejoining up at the expansion down here in that the seven o'clock position all right, the red army, the massive red army fighting next to each other here or fighting alongside here. Troll bat riders are trying to find those wind riders and able to find some wind riders here. Roar now being placed down in addition to Infi with a, with a healing ward placed down as well. I believe that is an item and in comes the army. Destroyers are going to be making their way over with devour magic. And we here we are going into an engagement. No repairs at all possible. Chimera is getting shackled down by Dragonhawk Riders. Um, well, we are looking also at Druids of the Talon with air-to-air -air attack, but it is all magic attack as well. The battle just really spanning out multiple positions as a big stun across the middle portion um, right there. All right, all of the healing wards are being placed down. I think I see stasis traps as well. So Infi also bringing in stasis traps into this battle, but that's quickly going to get shut down once more army size on both sides archmage could be in trouble blade master low on hit points this massive battle here the chimera is coming in from night elf completely completely well just coming out of nowhere meanwhile yellow's level five blade master has fallen both sides still fighting their way through it looks as though red's army is actually a bit smaller here but difficult to tell as the chimeras are quickly going to get cleaned up so the a large number of chimeras getting cleaned up here and now pretty much all of the units are in the red both sides are just losing a massive massive numbers as the keeper of the grove of the yellow team getting taken down as well archmage of rt god trying to save things around lich trying to stick around here D does get a heal there blade master continuing to try and go after that target death knight attempting to retreat back here as the army lines are completely gone and no real advantage here once more trying to hire up some additional units let's take a look at this war golem well fighting back against these spell breakers that's exactly what you want normal damage going up against that medium damage there as this war golem going to head back over to that fountain of health no staff of sanctuaries used as the blade master of red was taken down as well both sides fighting their way through yumiko being able to well, law well, land and down all of that AOE blizzard pretty consistently. No Stormbolt or Silence onto the Archmage. Surprisingly enough, allowing free da damage to just rain down across all of these units. All right. And once more, that Fountain of Health, that home field advantage does translate into very, very um, well, an a, a easy way to bounce back and recharge. Here we are. Chimera back ready to go. War Golem's going to heal back up. And well, units should be making their way back out here in just a second dire wolves cleaning up rt god's southern expansion once more meanwhile units are retreating back overall supply let's see infi is at 48 um yumiko is at 63 tho is at 78 tho is at 78 and finally 38 so compare that to you guys have to keep track of the numbers for me 32 50 64 and 65 so overall still pretty even and still just so many heroes to try and keep track of all right all right blizzard now raining down gonna pretty much stop any sign of mining here and the red team is continuing with all of this pressure yellow team now gonna try and defend here but losing base after base is gonna start to take a toll as the economic advantage of red should well start to really show here uh, the right do we have the right combination of units knights trying to go after all of those mountain giants units are attempting to retreat back dragon hawk riders are there we see a crypt fiend with web could really web down many of those bat riders and other targets multiple mountain giants could be in trouble here as that could give more and more experience to 
um, the army here. Fly being forced to use the scroll of town portal to retreat back, but Stowe is still stuck in this fight here. Uh, how much more damage is going to get added up as he sees the Staff of Sanctuary there? Mountain King, are we going to see a Stormbolt? Yeah, Stormbolt on to the Paladin. Paladin can easily get surrounded. Divine Shield keeps him alive right there as Thoe wait is well complaining about 800 ping. A split, a second difference as another unit getting taken down. All right, Paladin, Potion of Lesser Invulnerability or that um, Divine Shield coming to an end there. But still, Mountain Giants getting picked off. There goes another as the Mountain King is looking to get another Stormbolt off to perhaps try and take down another Mountain Giant here. All right. Meanwhile, Tho is actually near, very much nearby the expansion at the south side here. That mountain giant does finally fall. All of the army units making their way back off to the north as well. Shocker loses the expansion here at the three o'clock side. Some siege engines and well, the Farseer of Infi in position there. Farseer of Infi just a shy of level six earthquake. Maybe, um, maybe, well, becoming a problem. Is this 4v4 a, a competition? Yes, it is. Um, I don't know the last time you saw Yumiko, Infi, Fly, and Tho on a 4v4 team, but I think that 4v4 team is a 4v4 team of, like, a dream team or your nightmares if you randomly queue up in W3 Champions and find yourself going up against these four particular players. On the bottom left-hand side of the map, Fly's expansion gonna get cleaned up and shut down before it really gets going. RT God needs a scroll of Town Portal. Does it have one? No, he does not. Hex, Staff of Sanctuary saves there, and they're simply just gonna try to run on out of there. Paladin with Divine Shield. Mountain King doesn't even have boots of speed. Blademaster perhaps gonna try to get in front of the target and cause a bit more problems as well as the undead Death Knight now comes back around and well makes the fight a little bit more interesting there's a storm bolt onto the shadow hunter shadow hunter thunderclap now trying to mo mosey on through rt god trying to slip back there blizzard now raining down as well as the griffins and wind riders actually able to push back the crypt fiends just with sheer numbers this feels like a 3v2 fight right now as the army is just that large troll bat riders trying to dive on in trying to find those targets and able to take down many troll or many wind riders right there mountain king falls at level four for yellow as the griffins are continuing the chase blade master falls at level five and that might be it and um, as the paladin has seconds to live as well blade master finds that target gets to level five and so many heroes have been lost all right new chimera is back out here onto the battlefield is it enough to turn the tide i don't believe so as just too many units have been lost by the yellow team and there is the gg all right china's team of well well-known players taking and taking game number one yumiko infi fly and tho if you organize by the total scores well um just really really spread out throughout infi rt uh, it was a, a really well balanced game and both sides um well, approaching the game very differently. I got to say, I was I was very impressed by the the European team and how quickly they were able to creep out the and some of those creep camps, getting an early hero level advantage. You can see, um, let's see how how is how is it overall in hero scores? Um, yeah, hero hero level advantage by Shocker and RT got over the middle four. Um, for the Chinese team there. So they did a better job of creeping early on, but that hero level advantage just simply wasn't enough. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed this 4v4.